it looks like we're live again. We're trying to get back on. We were trying on the phone. We were having some trouble. I probably lost all of you. It's like when you're watching a really good movie and your power goes out in the last five minutes. I wanted to show you our end results. But it looks like we lost you, but hopefully this will record. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. But I wanted to show you our beautiful, traditional Shavuot noodle kugel. Nice, oh, oh, Allison's here. Nice and delicious, brown and crispy on top. So beautiful. I'm gonna check my last quiche, see how that's going. I think it's done. This is what I'm talking about, you guys, for the two of you that are here. This is what it looks like when it is puffed and golden and brown and delicious when it comes out of the oven. Unfortunately, it won't stay that way. I'm going to lift it up to show you again, but I lost my pot holder. If making Oreo, do we add to the top itself when? You, if you're making Oreo, Tammy, you want to mix that into the filling, and then you could also put some crushed pieces on the top, but I would do that when it's already cooked. So I would mix some Oreo into the filling, and then I would put some crushed Oreo pieces on the top. That would be super delicious. I want to just show you guys all this yumminess for anyone that's still with me. So this is my zucchini, spinach, green onion, feta cheese, jack cheese, delicious egg, crustless quiche, pashtita. That's what it looks like when it is puffed and golden brown and delicious. This is our noodle kugel. Oh, and how do you know when the cheesecake so is yummy. done? So the cheesecake, um, you want to give it about 20, 25 minutes, could take 30. When it's lightly, 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 lightly brown on the top, not browned, because you don't want brown cheesecake, but just starting to turn golden around the edges. I don't know if you guys can see. Do you see like a little of this just light golden brown around the edges? Um, and when you jiggle the pan, and it is solid. So you want to just give it like a quick little jiggle and have it be solid in the middle. If it still moves around when you jiggle the pan, it's still not cooked all the way through. I Google did the same thing. It was super fluffy and then deflated. Yeah, I told you, it's gonna happen. Super fluffy, like mine is still so puffy and golden and delicious. And I wish it stayed like this. Um, and if you do add some flour, it can help. If you mix a little bit of flour into your egg mixture, um, it will help a little and give it a little bit more of that puff. Um, I don't like to do that. This is just, you know, very simple eggs, a little bit of liquid, your veggies, your cheese. Very simple. Um, it just it puffs up like a souffle in the oven from the eggs, and then as it sets, it'll deflate a little. But it will look beautiful. Like I can show you, this one has, this one has deflated, it's still hot, yeah, it's still hot. This one has deflated just a tiny bit. Um, can I go closer? But not much, this is my broccoli cheese one. So it's just settled just a little. It's not gonna be, you know, totally deflated looking. It just won't be as puffed and beautiful as this one is when it first comes out of the oven. That will settle down a little bit. But you're looking for that golden color. You're looking for that crust. Nice. I touch it at the top. Clean hands. And I know that it's fully cooked through. My eggs are cooked. Everything is cooked through so I don't have to worry about any raw eggs in the middle. My kugel, the same thing. I give it some jiggles and I see that it's totally solid. It could take anywhere between 50 and 60 minutes, 65 even, depending on your oven. But I see that my noodles are done all the way, um, and I see that when I touch it lightly like this, um, if it's still raw, you can it'll move a little, and you can feel that it's still raw. So I'm so sorry for the trouble, you guys, with the Wi-Fi. I don't know what happened today. I hope you followed along. I hope you made kugel with me. I hope you made the quiche and the pastitas with me. I hope you made cheesecake bars, whether yours are lemon or another flavor. I hope they're delicious. I hope they look something like this and you get all this yumminess for your Shavuot table today and tomorrow. Join me tomorrow for challah braiding at one o'clock. We'll be making a traditional three strand and a four strand round and a five strand were the requests. So hopefully we won't have Wi-Fi issues. Hopefully you'll join for celebrating tomorrow. Chag Sameach, thank you for joining, and I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Post your pictures.